What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the Street Reporter. And this is a new installment. This is a new series I'm dropping now. It's called Chirac Exposed. Uh, a lot of people don't know. I'm actually finna retire from this. So I'm gonna do about maybe 30 more blogs. But they're gonna be in depth. They're gonna be about things I've learned through the culture uh, while I was doing this and documenting the drill culture for the last three to four years. So the first person we're gonna start on is Kobe. FBG Kobe. A lot of people ask me about Kobe. You know, he's an affiliate of FBG and affiliate of that side. You get what I'm saying? Basically the GD. So a lot of people don't know about Kobe, but they hear his name in a lot of songs, especially with like guys like FBG Doug blowing up. He shout Kobe out in a lot of these songs. Uh, Kobe was actually like a street legend and it's crazy because he just ended up a part of the drill movement because of how he died. But uh, this guy actually don't have songs. I don't really see him in a lot of videos, but he was uh, known in the streets. He was actually killed along the side of uh, FBG Doug Brother, FBG Brick, you know, uh, in that St. Lawrence neighborhood and shit like that. Uh, it was alleged that Kobe was killed because he was doing hits with FBG Brick. That was the rumors that was floating along the internet and shit like that. I can't verify that. But I am telling you, that's the rumors that people were saying that he was gunned down because of his affiliation and the things that he was doing in the neighborhoods. I actually interviewed Kobe. It's crazy. Even though he's not a rapper, I interviewed him. Uh, he was actually dissing King Yella. He was telling me that King Yella ain't really a street dude. He actually told me a few things about Billionaire Black, too. Um, the thing about that is, when I did the interview, I asked him, I said, you sure you want me to do this interview, bro? Because King Yella like your homie, man, you know, and he was telling me he was done fucking with dudes. So he did the interview, he dissed him. He also let me know in the interview that when King Yella was doing the No More Movement, and uh, you remember King Yella got shot while he was shooting that video. We got Kobe let me know that he was a guy who was shooting back for King Yella. So he let me know that he was kind of like an enforcer. He was the guy who was really living a life that the rappers was rapping about. Uh, the guy was so plugged that he was even cool with Cardi B brother, Paparazzi Poe. When Poe came to the city of Chicago, you know, he stayed at Kobe crib and shit like that. So Kobe was well known in the streets as an enforcer. I actually got a call. And I talked to a close uh, relative of Kobe. They let me know that FBG Duck ain't came back to the hood to hang with them. They let me know that since FBG Duck got the deal, he ain't came to see Kobe mama. You know, he not really showing no respects to the family. Kind of feel like he might have used Kobe or something like that. I asked him, did he want to do an interview? He said no, but he gave me permission to tell you guys this. Uh, I really don't understand that because you got to remember, this is part of the game, you know. LBG Dugner was cool with Kobe, not so much the family, I guess. So, you know, when a guy died, people feel salty. They distance themselves from the family because of the pain that it brings. I'm not sure if Doug distanced himself because he don't fuck with you guys. I just think, you know, this is part of that street life. I'm not sure if the guy who I talked to, a relative of Kobe, understood that. You know, he let me know that Kobe was a father, man. He, uh, had kids, he was a working man and shit like that, but unfortunately, that's how the streets go. You know, he was one of the 11 guys that I interviewed in Chicago who was murdered and gunned down. Crazy situation. I'm gonna be doing more of these blogs because I understand that it's new drill fans coming every day and don't really understand the culture and they listen to a lot of these new bloggers that's out. I'm one of the real bloggers that actually talked to these guys, actually interviewed these guys. Uh, I'm not connected to nobody. I can give you my opinions. Nobody, my friends. We're not looking for friends. We're looking for the truth. That's why my name Truth Teller. So I want y'all to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to give you in-depth on, on a lot of this shit, man. So hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram. Man. We are the Truth Tellers because I'll be posting a lot of exclusive stuff there that I don't post on Instagram. So I'm going to leave a link on my IG. In the bio, y'all.